Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, this is a kind of video response, I guess. Uh, sorry, you have to ignore the pink <laughs> ink. Don't worry, I've not been putting makeup on. It's pink ink um, from the printer. Um, yeah, it's kind of a video response, this, to Novabug, actually. He recently did a video, and I'll post the link down below, um, talking about the sort of the, the lifespan of media for, you know, game systems and things, and, you know, what, what could we expect in years to come? Because um, I think one of the points he was trying to make, uh, well, one of the points he made, was tapes, you know, they just they seem to be lasting for Forever. Um, I'm sure lots of them are dying and stuff, same with you know discs and things like that. But for the majority, they do work, you know, after sort of 30 or 40 years, you know, all the Spectrum and C64 tapes I've picked up have worked perfectly, you know, they load every single time um, without issue. So um, and you know, he was talking about you know different types of media, like say CDs, um, digital downloads, etc. And you know, and asking what people's preferences and things were. Now my preference actually is cartridge and I think it always will be. Um, I just like the solid state, you know, the fast loading, instant loading uh, that you get with cartridges and uh, you know, I just, I, it's just something special about cartridges for me. I guess it's because it's a chip and stuff, I guess that's what it is. And me being a bit of a geek. But uh, I think lifespan wise, I think cartridges are going to last for, you know, a hundred years. I'd be amazed if all mass ones have died in the next hundred years. Uh, you know, they could even be, you know, 500 years from now, you may well find that mass ones, for the majority of cases, still work. Um, now, when it comes to media, <laughs> the, uh, you, you'll have picked up from some of my comments on previous videos when it worked on CD systems and things and DVD systems. I hate optical media. Yes, it's great because it gives you tons and tons of capacity, but um, if I just, you know, this this really is just about HD DVD as well, I guess. You know, DVDs and CDs in general, um, they're fairly reliable, provided you don't scratch them or you keep them out of sun. So, I mean, like, if you, let's have a look at one of these here now as an example. I think these are, for the most part, pretty good, actually. There's just one of them that's got, um, uh, uh, yeah, there's barely a scratch on that. I don't know if you can tell. There is barely a scratch on that. Um, but this disc does not work. Now, I recently picked up, sidestep myself here, I recently picked up HD DVD drive for my Xbox 360. Um, not because it's better than Blu-ray, I mean, I've still got Blu-ray, I've got two or three different Blu-ray players around the house and stuff, and Blu-ray is what, you know, is obviously the standard, and HD DVD fell by the, the side of the road there. Um, for ver various reasons, I, it was it was destined to to fail really HD DVD just because the capacity of the discs, in my opinion. But the interesting thing is, after getting that HD DVD drive and a load of discs, um, I thought oh, I'll collect the Harry Potter films. Now I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan or anything like that. I'm really not. But uh, I watched these when the you know several years ago when, as they came out at the time and on, on, you know. On, um, download and stuff and uh, they're okay they kind of bring back the kid in me do you know what I mean I like watching them because yeah there's a childish element to them and yeah the kids get a bit older as they go through the episodes and they get a bit more serious towards the end you know the last few films and stuff but I just kind of like them you know they're just uh, I wouldn't watch them more than once every few years I don't think but I thought anyway they're so cheap I'll, I'll get the whole set now I did get a couple with my HD DVD drive and they work fine and I watched the first two came to um, Get, I came to watch this Prisoner of Azkaban, which I purchased off at eBay, and it wouldn't work. Um, I put the disc in, it played the first, I don't know, 10 minutes, and then it started skipping. I mean, like, really badly to the point where it was just unwatchable. And if you look at the disc here, I don't know how well this is going to come out. Can you see? It's like on the inside, it's like, um, it's got a darker colour. Uh, it's like faded or something. The outsides of it are faded and it's patchy. It's really weird. Um, and I didn't think much of it. I thought maybe, you know, it was just the disc, so... You know, roll on a week later, another one arrived. Another again, it was like a couple of pounds from eBay or something. Um, a similar problem. The disc looks all right. These have been polished up by me actually now, because there were one or two scratches on some of these. But the and again, it's that fa you know, it was like this before I cleaned it. It's got like a faded sort of patchy, weird thing going on with a, a goldish tint with it's like silverish on the outside. Can you see that? I don't know how well that's coming across. So yeah. That one did not play at all. The, the, the drive would not recognise it, despite there being no marks on the disc whatsoever in that case. And then I got another one, and a similar story. I think this one had some scratches on it. And look how faded that is there. Can you see that? It's like really silver on the edge there. Uh, that one plays halfway through, then starts to skip to the point you can't watch anything on the second half of the disc. And then another one, again, that just does not get picked up at all. I mean, it's hard to believe. Four copies of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on HD DVD, uh, you know, bin fodder, basically, all of them. Um, 
and uh, I did some research on this and I found, uh, I think it was on the AV forums or something, a massive sort of, I don't know, 50 page thread or something that had been going on since about, I don't know, 2008 or whenever these things came out, leading up to about 2012 with the last comment saying that the Warner Brothers um, discs suffer from this problem, it's like disc rot, you know, it's like it either with time there's something on the substrate um, breaks down or there's a chemical you know uh, reaction that takes place with uv and temperature it could even just be temperature because you wouldn't expect to get uv inside these boxes so it's just got to be a temperature thing you know and a chemical reaction over a period of time so the interesting thing there is as well is it's about new adoption you know it makes made me think seriously in question at, at, you know adopting new technologies if some of the technology came out now for you know 4k discs or 8k discs or something would i run at that you know um and adopt early I don't think I would actually this has kind of put me off because um, one of the things I was reading on that thread there are people out there have got you know 20 30 40 discs that have got this problem Pre you know predominantly the Warner Brothers discs so um, yeah I mean I've got refunds on all of these um, and I've tried these on another HD DVD drive as well again they do the same thing as the 360 so it's not a case of the 360 HD DVD drive is over sensitive or the lasers on its way out um, and all the other discs and I must have a good 30 or 40 um, they all play fine you know I've got box set heroes and stuff been watching that they're all the fine on HD DVD um, it does seem to be primarily the Warner Brothers stuff so uh, and I guess to sidestep back to you know the original comment there about um, or the original you know, point really that um, I reply to Novabug, and that's that some media um, like this, you know, just doesn't last long at all. These are only three or four years old, maybe a bit older than that, maybe five years old. I can't remember when HD DVD died out, and you know, these are just for the bin. Um, now, I found the similar thing with some CDR media um, now, but not printed. You know, if you get printed CDs generally they just last forever if you don't scratch them they just last forever really um, but that's not the case with CDRs and DVDRs you know you've got to keep them in very dark conditions and things I had some in a box for my Wii um, and they were sort of exposed you know one of those clear you know clear container uh, you know a spindle a spindle of discs and there were probably about 30 discs in there um, I came to play some of those recently and the ones of a certain make, I think they were Pi Data, they were quite cheap at the time, Pi Data uh, DVDRs. Every single one of them would not work. Every single one had um, been affected by ambient light getting into the side of the clear, you know, the clear enclosure there. Discs just knackered. Um, all the other makes on there, like Verbatim, TDK, they're all fine. So, you know, I've started storing my discs in dark places and things. So, that's something to note with CDR, you know, and DVDR as well. Uh, and it's probably going to be the same as some other recordable Blu ray media. But uh, anyway, I thought you'd find that interesting. Thanks for watching. See you soon.